So here are the first five terms of an arithmetic sequence. Find an expression in terms of n for the nth term of this sequence. So first of all, we look at what the numbers are going up in, or the difference between each of the terms. And we can easily see that that's 6. So that forms the first part um, of the expression. The second part of the expression can be found by working out what you need to do to 6n. If you make um, n1, and you want to get your first term of 3. So we need n, and we need our term to become 3 when n is 1. So we'll have 6 1s plus something, which I'll put as a question mark, must equal 3. So 6 1s are 6, so 6 plus minus 3 will give me 3. So this tells me then that the nth term must be 6n minus 3. Now you can check on the second term and ask yourself whether um, 6 2s take away 3 will give you 9. So do 6 2s, so here's my 2, does it give me 9? 6 2s minus 3, 6 2s are 12, 12 take 3 is 9. So 6n minus 3 is your nth term expression. Now Ben says that 150 is in the sequence, so is he right? Well. If 150 is in the sequence, then 150 must be generated by a term value. So we must be able to find a whole integer value that will give us a value of n. So we'll solve this um, equation. So we've got 147, if we take 3 off each side, equals 6n. And so n would equal 147 divided by 6. So does 6 go into 147 exactly? So 6 into 14 goes twice with remainder 2. 6 does not go in 27. So Ben is not right, so the answer is no, as 6, uh, six n minus 3 can't make 150. That's your answer.